coding made easy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to your last SFML 2.0 tutorial. Now, the fact that I just said this is your last tutorial, I know a lot of you guys are going to be mad. There's a lot of things you guys want to learn. Uh, I know, I, I don't remember who it was, but somebody mentioned SF shaders and stuff like that, but uh, I decided not to teach those or to teach them in the RPG series. Uh, for the shaders, those take on a more open GL approach. Uh, they're, they're, you would have to learn the GL SL language and stuff like that in order to apply to fully apply shaders in SML, and uh, that more applied to 3D rather than 2D. So I'm not going to be applying it in this series. Uh, but when I when we get into open GL, then you can look forward to that. Um, but in this tutorial, uh. We're just going to be learning on how to like deploy our program or to distribute our game to our friends and family or whoever actually wants to to run our game. So now I have uh, something called Advanced Installer and uh, I'm just going to open a new project. So uh, Advanced Installer or there's a lot of different things you could use ActiveX, you could use you know. Uh, I know you know set up or um, a Wix I think Wix installer I think that's what it's called there's a bunch of different uh, installers but I use advanced installer I believe it's pretty easy pretty straightforward you can make some pretty cool installers and, and, and yeah um, so you can download the demo or, or like the uh, one of the versions uh, just by searching for advanced installer uh, on on Google now once you've had this downloaded or whatever installer you want to install or you want to use then i'm going to show you which files that you should incorporate so that it can run on the other person's computer so um i guess i'm going to make it a visual studio application or or it's up to you because you might not have that you might not have that option if you're using the the um the regular version but if we scroll down you can probably use like a simple installer or something like that if you can't use any of the other ones but uh, yeah just for just for everybody else because I have all of these available but for those of you who only have the simple installer then uh, yeah I'll click that so we'll double click simple to create the project now our application name so I'll just call it SML 2.0 um, our version, you can uh, company. I just put code made easy. And uh, a good once you make your game and you package it, I have an option on my website on the downloads page where you can upload files. So if you want to make an uh, if you're making a game or something, you want people to download it, you can package it, put it up on my website for the world to download, and then they can do whatever they want with it. So you can put a URL for your product, all that good stuff. Um, so and you can set how you upgrade it. Um, you can set certain conditions and and all that stuff. But what I'm gonna get to is the files and and the folders. So our application folder, this is where our application is going to be. So the files that we want to uh, put in. So we're going to select our files and we're going to go to our project folder and uh, where is it SML 2.0 and in our debug folder we should have our exe file and we want to select that right our exe file now I don't know if you guys have this in your debug folder you guys might not you might have it you might not have it but we have a I have I placed a bunch of different DLL files in here, but I I'll show you those in just a second. So we want to select our, our exe file and we want to place it in there. So in order for SML to work on other computers, we need to include some DLL files. Now on my computer I have a folder for with linker files and if I select SML and I select lib, oh no, those are just, oh yeah. So these are the, the DLL files that we need to actually include, 
right and those are just yeah so in order for us to actually send off our program for other people to use it we need to include the dll files based on the libraries that we're using so and to send off the audio the graphics the network and all that good stuff and i've already placed that i've already placed that in my in my sfml folder so i have sorry if i scroll down so i have my sfml audio graphics the network the system and the window so i'm going to select all of that and click open so i have my base files in there but there is some other things that we have to incorporate now you might not have these files you might have to re you might have to download uh the the zip file from the sml download in order to get these files the open al32 and the lib snd file dash one and we need those in order to use like the sound files or or any, any audio files so we need to select those two and incorporate them as well into our project now lastly if you are using visual studio right we need to include these files now depending on which version of visual studio you're using it will determine which one you need to get for example since i'm using visual studio 2012 then i need to get msvcp 110d.dll if i'm using 2010 then I'll get the MSVCP 100D.dll and all these will be 100 and so on and so forth, right? So uh, we need to have these three files. So it has to be MSVCP, the version that you're using, D.dll, MSVCR, the version, .dll, and MSVCR, the version, D.dll. So we need to incorporate these files in order if we're using Visual Studio. If you're not using Visual Studio, you don't need to incorporate these, but these are dependencies. Uh, they're a part of the Microsoft redistributable package. And in order for you to run your projects on other computers, you need to have these three files. So if you're using Visual Studio, uh, include these two files. If you don't know where to find them, check your System32 or your SysFile64, or uh, you can check your Visual Studio directory. So we include those and those will be in our project. Now for our shortcuts, all we need in the shortcut is our actual exe file. Now, if you want to create a custom start menu item, you can go to start menu programs and you can add a folder and sorry, or we could create a folder or select folder. Uh, yeah. So we can create a new folder and I could just call it like coding made easy and then we could place uh, our files in that folder. So I could just copy these files and place them in here. So um, or better yet, we wouldn't even want to put that in there. We would probably want to put a shortcut in here. So I just put shortcut two, uh, installed file, like so. You can put the name on it. So I can just put SML 2.0 and voila. So we could just put a shortcut to our file in there so we don't have to put all our DLL files and stuff within the start menu. So we can place in the start menu like so, and we can also uh, when, when the user installs it from the start menu, they can see your program there. So that's all we need to do to install it. So there's other stuff that you could do. You could set what type of installation you want. Uh, if we scroll down here, we can set the dialog boxes, what we want to, what we want it to look like, what we want it to do. And if we go to our exit dialog and we scroll down here, you can have a readme file if you want people to, if you want a readme that you want people to view and um, you can select that they can launch the application at the end of the installation and you select the application and so on and so forth. So uh, that's just the easy way to just get it set up. Now what we're going to do now is we're just going to, I'll just click run, run or build. And I'm going to, yeah, I'll just say it's in the debug folder and I'll just call it setup or something like that. And what this is going to do is just build it for us and then just going to run it.
So let's just see how it works. So this is gonna pop up. Uh, it's gonna say next. They can choose where to install it. And then you can click install. Now this might take a while to install. There are some things that you can do in order to speed up the installation. Uh, I just gotta find it. Yeah, so if we go to inst install parameters, we can minimize the install installation time by, oh no, that's only for professional, but we can select any of these to actually speed up installation time if you would like. And you could build it again and, and whatever. And then when we select that, we can say launch SML 2.0. And once we do that, we can launch the application. Now, I never incorporated the map files with this, like an idiot. But, uh, so if you want to, like the load files that I had to load on the map, I never installed them. But you can add them easily. So you just go to files and folders. You'd go to application folder and you would add in the, the, the map files and all that stuff that you need to, to use. So that is basically it for this tutorial. Sorry. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun with this. Um, have fun deploying your game and send it to your family and friends and all that good stuff. And this was a good tutorial series. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. And once I'm done my platformer series and my C++ Planet Easy HD, it's straight to the RPG tutorial series. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and bye for now.